This has become one of my favorite supine exercises that I learned recently. We're gonna have two towel rolls. One is going to do the job of elevating the pelvis and the other is gonna go right above the sacrum and kind of allow my pelvis to tip forward a little bit to create what's called sacral nutation. So almost feels like you're in a little bit of an anterior tilt or lordosis as your pelvis kind of like dumps forward a little bit, but that's going to allow the pelvis to kind of open up those sits bones to open up on the backside in this position. So you can feel that air travel down into the body and the towel roll is going to elevate the sternum, not so much that we flare the ribs, but it's going to keep the chest up as we also keep the pelvis open and exhale, utilizing the ground to find those ribs back in space. This is going to translate to something like a deadlift or just your various movements when we want to keep the chest like a squat, when we want to keep that chest open, but as we get to that mid range, we want kind of that mutation to happen. We want to feel that air kind of down into the body. So we are going to practice it on the ground and that will translate into other movements. So you're going to want to roll those towel rolls, not too thick. So I'm going to place it kind of right above here. And you're going to notice that when I place that towel roll, my pelvis is gonna kinda wanna go forward just a tiny bit. We don't wanna flare out too much. So play around with the towel roll size and wedge and allow it to kinda just dump you forward a little bit so you can feel as you inhale down, that air and pressure flow down into the body. The next towel roll is gonna go kinda behind the this, this sternum. So if you imagine your sternum in a direct line right back behind you to elevate, so have that nice chest elevation, play around with the wedge and the towel roll. And like I said, you don't want to flare out too much. So you want to make sure that it's not too thick and forcing you to do that. In this position, I'm going to place my hands on my lower ribs and I'm going to inhale, feel that air into the chest, feel the air travel down into the body, into the pelvis, flowing through the sits bones and exhale, feel those lower ribs kind of knit together on the front side. As I inhale, I take a nice long ha exhalation, getting all the air out of the body. You can play around from this position and maybe take one leg up off the ground, but without flaring the ribs, keeping the pelvis open, keeping the chest elevated. And now we're going to do the same thing. If it helps, you can even take your arms up. And then exhale. Extra challenge would be to take both legs up without flaring the ribs and without tucking the booty underneath you. Keep everything open. This is a great supine breathing exercise to really feel that air kind of into the chest and into the bottom of the pelvis. And this will translate to keeping that sternum up, booty lengthened and open as you move into squats, deadlifts, and other exercises.